Hello, this is Clemmy Games, and welcome to Local Multiplayer Impressions, where I share my thoughts on games in the genre. In this video, we will be looking at the full release version of Spirit Spear, a local competitive air hockey style game developed by Inhorn Games and released out of Steam Early Access in January 2017 after about 6 months of development. For disclosure, I received this game free. So the first video in this series on local multiplayer games was on Spirit Sphere, and my impressions then were very positive to begin with. I enjoyed the fast-paced action, how each character and stage felt different, and the overall presentation in terms of the sprite work and the sound design. I am glad to report that all of these aspects still remain while the developer has added the promised modes, additional characters, stages and spheres for an overall excellent local multiplayer experience. The core game here involves batting a sphere back and forth with the objective of scoring into the opponent's goal. In the single player campaign, games are played in a first to three points format although this can be altered to your liking in the local multiplayer mode. Firstly, we shall take a look at the new characters added, which now include Fennel, a rabbit in a race car, Cow, a shaman-like creature which has animal companions, Taya, a flame princess, and Baphomet, the goat-headed figure that is prevalent in occult and mystic traditions. These new characters are in addition to the previous three of Lin, Buster, and Ozo, and all of these characters are unique in their design, attacks, and even rolling abilities. Of the new characters, I did enjoy using Cow the most since the animal companions allowed for much better blocking. One gameplay change here is that the strong attack is now a charged attack and the longer you hold down the button, the more powerful the strike. Of course, the drawback to this is that holding a charge slows your movement speed down to a crawl, meaning that you are less likely to be able to defend your goal. Also, the developer has added the ability to aim or curve your shots by holding down a direction key when striking the ball. This allows for greater control, and the curved shots which result from using your charged attack can lead to some amazing goals. Next, we also have the newly added squash mode, where, as the name suggests, you are involved in playing a game of squash instead of air hockey. Personally, while I think that the idea is cool, and provides an alternative to shake things up, this mode might not work so well in non-standard arenas. For example, there is a level which is shaped like an octagon, where only the front and back walls matter in squash mode. However, hitting the angled walls do not count, and you could easily cause a ball to ricochet to the back wall while it is still technically your turn since you did not hit the front wall. Perhaps it comes down to a matter of practice, but I thought that squash mode in cases like this was not so great. Finally, just to summarize, Spirit Sphere features 7 different characters, 8 different stages, and 11 different spheres, all of which give a nice amount of content variety. This, combined with the fast, fluid, and skill-based gameplay, makes this an easy recommendation. Anyway, that will do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.